and welcome back to the jungle. We are here with what remains of our jagged jungle tribe, Ronu and his sister, who has actually taken up the brand new name of Zestri, which I think fits her very well. And I know they are difficult to see, but that is kind of the idea because they are hiding in the shadows, doing their best in their attempts to escape from this big eyed ape. With that this creature right over here, who is actually a toxic bodied fanged male wanderer, actually ended up attracting. And so we find ourselves in quite the predicament here on this killer island for our killer island extreme niche challenge, where we started here just one generation ago with Ronu and Zestri's parents, who unfortunately were doing well, they were doing really great, and that was really awesome. And then unfortunately, Unfortunately, they were killed off by that very ape that is now on our tails because this little creature when he was a child was wandering around and he's brightly colored so I don't think the big eyed ape wanted to eat him because he thought that this little guy would be toxic bodied but um, yeah he he attracted the big eyed ape to Zestri and uh, to poor Zestri and Ronu's parents and they got eaten, eaten while doing their best to try to survive and take care of their children. However, we probably wouldn't have fallen into that trap if I hadn't forgotten that right over here is actually a very dangerous carnivorous plant that we need to keep an eye out for. I have no idea whose bones those are. They are not the bones of our creatures. Unfortunately, both of his parents ended up perishing inside of this plant. Um, but uh, there's definitely a lot of creatures roaming the area some of them hostile some of them not and we are going to try to make the best of this so what we're going to do now i think ronu zesri and ronu both have been rolling around in the mud to keep the smelling creature that his parents their parents saw uh in the past off their tail and i just realized that ronu has a beaver tail that's really good for swimming if we decide to go that route i am not sure that apes can swim but I think what I need to do is one way or another, Zestri as my only female needs to become pregnant and I kind of want to shoot for that wandering male that we saw because he has toxic body and toxic fangs, which would be very useful on both counts. I would love to get those fangs into the family tree. Holy cannolis, I would. So let's see if we can manage to pull that off. All right, here we go. Where's the ape? Oh, he's coming for us. He is indeed coming straight for us. There is the odd creature. I think I'm going to go ahead and Zestri is actually going to start wandering after that creature. So I'm going to send her wandering this way. There he is. Rudukvan, the the curious toxic bodied creature who hopefully we will be able to mate with. And I'm actually going to have Ronu try to avoid the gaze of that that big ape and sit over here where he has rolled in the mud and can gather up some of the smelly fruit. And as long as he stays camouflaged and in the mud, I'm hoping that we will stay safe. So let's see if we can have this romance really hit it off. If we can avoid that ape for as long as possible. All right, Zestri, how do you do? Uh, he's actually sitting on top of some food, which is awesome. Let's go ahead. Okay, so we successfully mated with him. We don't have enough food to ask him to join our tribe, which would be really cool. He also has claw, so he's got some good defenses that we probably want. Okay, we're still hidden. Need to roll in the mud to stay still, like, scent hidden. The ape is going away, so Ronu is going to be awesome and gather up some food for us. All right, let's see what happens. All right, I saw the ape, I think, eating off of there and there's a ton of healing fruits but there is a carnivorous plant over here and those are all very good things to stay near all right so we can continue to gather up these fruits actually because ronu is amazing and staying in the mud there zestri is now heavily pregnant we could invite this guy into the tribe which i would actually be very grateful for but it would literally use up all of our food so I think we're going to wait on that. However, I would like to have this child ASAP. So let's see what else is near us. Okay, there's some roots that are actually on the other side right over here. Okay, so we're going to take a step towards here. We're going to dig up these roots. Let's actually get behind this tree, I think. 
And then there's some roots and there's some nuts, actually. And I think he's actually, he's following Zessery, so maybe he's got a bit of a crush or something. That would be useful. Just <laughs> stay here. No! He's found us! <laughs> he found us! What are we going to do? Okay, let's gather up some extra food first. We're just going to completely focus on that for a second. Good job, Ronu. All right, and then Zessery, you know what? Let's invite him into the tribe. That's a big, huge risk. Uh, let's make sure, and she's going to slip around the tree to make sure that the ape doesn't get her and her pregnant self. And this guy, he can attack, and he's actually got the thing. So we're going to attack, and hopefully, did that, like, poison the, the, the guy, or is he... He's poison resistant? What the heck? Then, of course, he doesn't care if he eats this guy. All right, well, run for it, little dude. Run for it, okay? Just, like, get out of here. That wasn't a good enough get out of here. You don't really have a lot of get out and go. <laughs> All right. I think that that guy... Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so... It was the, the ape coming for the... I think the ape was coming for the acorns. We have got to get away from these acorns. Holy days. We're going to stay hidden over here. Ronu has been harvesting up some of our food. I can't believe we didn't just get completely eaten to pieces there. That was more than slightly unexpected. Zessery, we're going to have this guy scooch over here. He's kind of scouted this area out. It seems semi-safe. Zessery, if you could just come this way, please, my dear. Maybe grab a little bit more food. And then what should I have this guy do? We need to make a nest, actually, and I don't have enough nesting material. Um, so can he, like, clear out... What, where's some more of the jungle stuff? Because you, you can only clear the jungle stuff to get moving through it. So he's going to help with gathering up enough nesting material that Zestri can actually have her child. I just realized we don't even have enough nesting material for that. So that's very bad. Uh, Ronu is just like staying over here. If he so much as budges, I think that ape is going to see him and eat him so he cannot move. But he has gathered up quite a bit of food for us. Hang in there, Ronu. I love you, buddy. Okay. All right. All right, where's the ape? Okay, so the ape moved away again. Ronu is still gathering this food because he is amazing. And I think he's going to be safe right there for the moment. The ape is so close. We really need more food, especially if I'm going to expand the tribe again. So I need this guy who has joined us to not get eaten. Where is a direction we might potentially want to wander? Uh, now that I know how good... Oh, look at all those! Maybe we can wander over here, guys. There's a permanest here, but it's way out in the open. Too dangerous, in my humble opinion. However, if we can get ourselves situated... I need to get under... We're in the tree canopy up here. I love how this is like a jungle. You have the tree canopy, and then like the tertiary canopies, and all the way down to the, the floor. This is just danger zone. Holy no. <laughs> but if we can get ourselves over to... Like, these and a mud puddle, then between the two, we might be able to make something happen. So I think we're going to angle back towards this direction and we have to watch out and we'll do our best. Zestri has got to gather up some food and okay, there we go, guys. Got to keep an eye out for these apes, but on the all together, hopefully we'll be okay. <laughs> All right, Ronu, you can gather up more food. You can gather up more of the nesting material for your sister around you. We'll have Ro Rodukvan keep eyes and ears out. So with his nose, he can smell those danger plants. And with his eyes, we can see the ape. Zestri is going to dig up a root there. And then, I guess, do we smell anything? Hear anything? No. Okay, Zestri. Okay, we risked it. We threw her really far ahead, which is very dangerous. But she needs to have a baby soon because we're actually getting quite a ways into uh, her lifespan. And so she really does need to have a child very soon. All right, Ronu's going to roll in the mud again and eat all of these plants. He's amazing and kind of keeping us alive that way. We're going to have Rodukvan not get eaten by any, any bad plants, please. Not get eaten by any bed plants. That's just like my chant. Don't get eaten. Don't get eaten. <laughs> and he's going to not step on anything that will attract any of the baddies. And we're going to slowly move them up here. Where Zestri now needs to gather up some nesting material too. Alright, how are we doing? 
Oh man, we are just like hovering on food constantly. Just constantly on the edge of starvation. Ronu is literally just keeping us just on tether hooks here. All right, we're gonna jump up this way. There's a, another tree here. So that might be really good if we can just go ahead and maybe, all right, we're gonna keep clearing away pieces. If we can make a clear path between the two mud puddles, that might really help us out if we can just start getting paths between the mud puddles. So we'll work on that. All right, careful. Everybody careful. Ronu, you are wonderful and you're gonna die soon, why? He's so old. How did he get so old so fast? My little one. How did this happen? We're gonna try to get him towards his sister. I really need a nest. Oh no! I'm I'm in danger zone. Okay, we're gonna have to just like Raduk Van. Oh geez Louise, there's just danger all around us. I need nesting material like yesterday, please. <laughs> Uh, is it safe over here? Okay, it's semi-safe over here. So Zesri has to have this baby or the tribe just ends here. <gasps> no, Ronu! Ronu! You were out in the open and he saw you! Quick, Ronu! No, Ronu! Oh, tragedy upon tragedy! <laughs> Zesri, get undercover! Get undercover! You and your, your mate need to get undercover. Oh my gosh! There is a new creature! There's a female over here! We may desperately need to invite her into the tribe in just a second. Nope. Goodbye. Holy days. That didn't last very long. Oh, what's this? Has this thing eaten someone? So we can... Rokdukvan. Take a risk, Rokdukvan. There's something in here? What is this? <gasps> it's revealed some fruit of some kind. I don't have room to be picky right now. We we got some fruit from within the interior of this plant. I literally, we're gonna die. I think this tribe is over before I even had a chance to get it started. <laughs> this is so bad. I need to have this baby. Never underestimating nesting material again. Never ever again. <laughs> Zestri, you literally have one day left to live. Please, just give birth to this child. Oh, she's not gonna live long enough. This is the end. We died! <laughs> two, two generations is the only amount that I was allotted for this challenge? Oh my gosh! That was so cool! Okay guys, we're going to go ahead we're gonna restart the game with the same bloodline and we're gonna try again. I, I like the idea of this challenge. I'm just starting to get into it. We are gonna have to say that our first jagged line did indeed die because they did. I'm so sad because I was so in love, in love with Zessery and we actually did really good and there were so many potentials. But I killed them and I failed my own challenge. I failed my Killer Island challenge two generations in. I'm gonna give it at least three good goes if y'all don't mind because this is quite fun. And if you recall, we died the first time we tried to do the Whims challenge too. And man, is that ever turning out delightful. So let's try restarting. All right, and here we are, my friends, with a new branch amongst the many creatures struggling for survival on the killer jungle island. And this is the Muddy tribe, and I thought it was quite delightful when I actually loaded in our new Adam and Eve, who in this case are known as Akka and her mate Paranoi. Both names pulled from your guys' wonderful niche name list. Please keep it coming. Oh my goodness, I I love seeing your guys' role plays. I love seeing your guys' meanings behind the names that you have developed. I am quite sad that we lost the Jagged tribe because I was in love with Zesri. I loved her parents. I loved her loyal brother, Ronu. But we are going to have learned from that tribe. And we are going to say that just at the last moments, we saw new creatures showing up, yes? Well, one of those new creatures was Paranoi and his mate, Akka, nearby. And they 
they actually observed that tragedy. So they are the second out of at least three attempts I want to give this challenge. And they are here to begin their own branch and their own tribe. And we are pretty much having to start fresh. These same rules still apply. Blind genes, I will not be peeking at what genes they happen to have hiding inside of their genetics tab. However, we will have full control over the mutations menu. And we ended up with Digging Paw. We have Digging Paw on both of them. That is really fantastic and useful. We have Velvet Paw on one, and I can't really see. Oh, we've got Beaver Tails on both too. Oh my goodness, guys. So we may have some swimming creatures. In fact, actually, before they jumped up onto this ledge, uh, Para here, Paranoi, uh, actually came, Parano, I think I'll call him Paranoia because Paranoi sounds like he's paranoid. So he's Parano, and he actually actually got two leeches just standing by the water and then defeated them because they were coming to like bite him. So they're a calmer set. They're not quite as drama driven as the Jagged crew was, but they're hoping that they can simply find a safe place like any Nicheling hopes for to begin their own tribe. And maybe they too have dreams of their tribe eventually becoming as complex and as civilized as some of our past tribes like the Yukirs and the Amazon who had such deep, long-driven stories to them that I truly loved. But same rules as last time, can only put a nest down on the jungle islands or jungle plots on mixed islands. And we're just trying to survive for 100 days. So beginning again, new island, same settings where it is a killer island, same difficulty applies. Look at that. That, is, that doesn't bode well. Just the bones. I imagine there's just like an ape that is really ill-natured walking through the shadows here. And as he eats nichelings, he throws their bones off this cliff and just piles it up. Doesn't this just look like the terrifying entrance of doom to some sort of like hostile creatures territory that you don't want to go into? Oh my gosh. So we'll stay away from that, I think. But there are not, there's not a stump of death like there was on the last island. Um, um, however, there is actually a nest, a two, two trick nest. Look at this, guys. There's one nest right here and one nest right here that is actually situated next to a carnivorous plant. These plants are attempting to lure, like they, they plopped up right over here, possibly because it just turned out to be a great location for them. But there's two permanent nests here and they have the the man-eating plants the carnivorous plants right next to them i'm gonna have to figure out and i could probably look it up as usual or read your guys comments but i like to experience it through gameplay myself uh how to defeat those plants i think there is a way where you can actually destroy them and i need to figure out how to do so but there is a little mud puddle over here. So we're going to be leaping for the mud puddle pretty quickly. I don't think there's anything else super dangerous around us immediately. So I'm going to send Akka over here. She's going to go ahead and dig up that root. And then we'll have her make her nest next move. And then we're going to actually send Paranoi up here. I'm going to have him roll in the mud so we can start eating from these smelly plants. We're also going to need to set what their traits are going to be. But I thought it was funny because I learned how valuable mud was with the jagged group so i literally named the save file muddy tribe and they literally popped up as like mud colored creatures so i think that's really cool but we actually uh i think does chestnut fur give good camouflage um she's in camouflage but she only has two so i really want to have better camouflage so we're actually going to assign black fur because i think maybe they noticed that that was really useful for zastri at least and i guess normal eyesight for now again i think that that's good so black fur normal eyesight let's make this happen all right paranoid let's go ahead and have you roll in the mud and then rush back over to your mate's side without getting eaten by anything, please. And then we're going to go ahead and have your mate 
set up a nest. I wish she had higher camouflage. That would make me pretty happy, but we don't. And now I learned the lesson of not gathering nesting material. So we do want to have patches of camouflage grass, but we do also want to make sure that we get that nesting material going. They already have a daughter! Huzzah! All right. Her name is currently Sequois, but we will be renaming her in the future based off of the names that you guys leave in the comment section. Uh, however, we're not going to name her now because if we opened up the family tree to name her, we would actually be able to see. Oh wait, what's this? This plant can be destroyed? Oh my gosh, okay, paranoid. Don't waste any time, I think, buddy. Destroy it. Yes! Wow, what a start, actually. What a start to be able to begin with these like danger plants already opening their fruit to us. Maybe this bodes well. Who knows? We also didn't end up with my favorite cracker jaw. I'm not sure how I feel about that. All right, let's see. I think I need to go have Akka roll in the mud too, as dangerous as that is. Uh, but okay, so I'm going to have her actually jump over here. I'm going to have her roll in the mud. Do not step on that tile, young ones. Please don't. No! No! Smelly creature! Smelly creature! Akka! You literally just joined us! Um, can I have her, like, preemptively roll in the mud? So that she can hide her scent? This is the only mud patch I see here. Roll in it and run. <laughs> Stay hidden, young daughter. Stay hidden. Here, you. I'm going to send her, like, off the ledge. Hide down there, Sequois. Hide down there. And we're going to have, uh, Pinoy. Can I at least, can I, like grab and, and grab and run. Okay, I'm gonna have him go ahead and just like straight up run. All right, so he's down here with their daughter and hopefully we can actually gather some of the food. They have both, no, no, you're so young. Aka, you just literally joined us. How did he smell us so soon? Run, young daughter, run. I don't know how to, how to make her run any faster. This is so bad. Oh my goodness. Um, Paranoid, go this way. And now he's cleared out that spot so we can, like, shove our daughter ahead and just be like, run, child, run. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. And then uh, we've lost our mud scent already, I think, because, like, it rained so quickly. Uh, so we're going to have to have them dash. I'm going to have Akka make a run for it this way. And she's just going to have to, like, zigzag. No, Akka! Oh no, what have I done? Oh my gosh, okay. This is so, this is just a maze of horrors, both ends. What am I gonna do? Oh my goodness, hang in there, Akka. Please, please go away. No, please go away, smelly ape, please go away. Curses, okay, run child. There's nowhere for her to run. Okay, her dad needs to like clear a spot around them. Over here maybe? And now can she run? Oh, now she can like dash for it. Okay, run. Everybody run. Back over to the mud. Roll in that mud. Like no tomorrow, please. <laughs> oh, he's following us. Oh, he's on it. He's coming for our kid. Why is Akka hurt? How did she get hurt? This is so bad. <laughs> can we run this way? I'm gonna, can they have another child really quickly? Sequoise, it's up to you to survive. <laughs> I know this world is unfair and there's already like a creature way over there, but just run, run, run. We're going to lead this ape in circles. We're going to get out of here. We've rolled in the mud with little Akka. Can I just have her dash over here? She's going to have to have a child. Um, okay, we're going to run. Maybe that's the point of this tribe. It's just like literally running for our lives. <laughs> that's what the, the smelly, the smelly tribe does. Okay, quick. Sequoise. <laughs> We're not going to stand for this. Um, um, just keep running. And then unfortunately, your mother literally, like, all we could do is maybe land in a nest next to a plant that already, like, is bad. Oh, geez, Louise. Is that plant? Oh, dang it. That plant's hungry. Can't go near that plant. Paranoid can, like, dive over here and destroy the other plant. Aka, all she can do is just keep running in literal circles, and we'll have to see what happens. <laughs> no! No, dang it! Not the young daughter! Don't you dare. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Uh, we can destroy this plant really quickly, and we can eat from it, the meat-eating plant, and we can actually have father and daughter eat from it, and then we can have mother come up here, and can I repair my nest? If I could just repair my nest... 
<laughs> then we would be able to go ahead and have this child. So I think we can repair the nest now. <laughs> ah! Bad ape! Bad ape! No, my nest! My nest disintegrated! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Big nosed ape, I, I loathe you. <laughs> Um, I could get some healing things if I'm careful. We've got to get away from this big-nosed ape. That's kind of the long and short of it. Um, okay, let's try. Okay, paranoid. This is a desperate act for desperate times. We're just gonna keep running. <laughs> and your daughter is just gonna have to keep running. We don't have any food. Okay, we're gonna have to have a bait, I think. We're just gonna have to have bait and somebody is gonna have to just suck it up. And be bait. And it looks like our daughter. Oh no, our daughter must actually survive. Am I literally gonna die on the second try? No! I'm so offended right now. I need to run for it and have a baby. That just needs to be what goes down here. All right, unfortunately we had to have a child with our father, but guess what? We're out of options. We're literally out of options. If he'll live long enough. Nope, he didn't live long enough. Nope, now we're just starving to death. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. Can I at least have this child? Nope. All right, it's over, guys. Round two. The end times. <laughs> I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. You know what they say. The third time is the charm. So we're going to try again. The third time. And if that doesn't work, I am freaking loving this attempt. It's so much harder than ever before. We actually did so much better than I assumed on our very first attempt to make it to episode two, apparently. But being a veteran niche player who has never really dabbled uh, on killer settings from the start, I have to say, this is really, really making me so happy and excited, even though my tribe is dying, because it is truly such a challenge. So next time we will start with a third tribe, we'll see if we can make this happen, and we'll see how far we can go. And I'm learning pretty quick that you gotta move zip quick, and you gotta be careful, because unless you are hidden, and unless you have your scent disguised, you are going to fall prey to the terrors within these killer jungles. So I will see you guys next time. <laughs>